are introducing the SC series of our uh, applicator options, the O2 and the O3 model, as well as our 4808 NGA drum applicator. As you can see, all three of these treaters utilize the same atomizer um, and can be utilized in both a portable or a stationary box-to-box uh, -box system and even a bulk site. Hi everybody, I'm Quentin Edelman with KSI and I'm standing in front of the 4808 NGA applicator. Uh, this is the KSI drum applicator uh, designed for both standalone operations and bulk systems depending on how you operate your systems, uh, the capacities you want to run, um, and how much seed you need to treat during the season. The 4808 is a multi-stage applicator, so we have our initial application with the KSI atomizer and then the secondary mixing chamber uh, with the, with the drum. So the atomizer is really where KSI spends a lot of our time talking about the, uh, the applicator itself because that's where uh, a majority of the actual seed treating takes place um, initially in the atomizer head. Inside of the atomizer itself, we want to get as much initial coverage as we possibly can from that seed to the chemical. Um, so with the KSI atomizer, we have a seed distribution ring up top here that evenly distributes that seed all the way around the head of the atomizer so we get a very thin curtain of seed to get that initial application on that, on that seed. To go on, along with that, we have the case atomizer that has a distribution channel of four ports that gets you four quadrants of, of chemical to uh, get the get chemical all the way around the atomizer in a 360 degree pattern. So the combination of our distribution device and our four port mechanism with the channels gets you about 80% initial application efficiency so that the drum can then be utilized as that secondary mixing chamber as well as get you the drying and the coverage that, that you really want. As we move into the drum, which is the secondary mixing chamber, we have three sections within the drum that allow that first seed in not to be the first seed out. As we move to the very end of the drum, we have a dynamic discharge, which is coated in a special coating so that you, that you don't get near as much buildup and it's easier to clean. Uh, the dynamic discharge, as you can see, um, the, the applicator itself is low in profile so that you can fit a conveyor underneath of it to load out I and mean, get good clean out from your transition there, load it into a, a tender or a repackaging hopper of some sort. The discharge itself is very accessible. It's basically made up of three components, one with a, the, the chute, which you can also put in a dry additive feeder through the discharge with a, a stainless steel discharge chute that can be pulled out, cleaned off, and set aside. As you are left with a roughly a two and a half foot hole at the discharge of the drum to get in there, service, and clean. The discharge cap, which is something new, can be put in that place, fill the drum up with a, a liquid or a solution of water or simple green or some, something like that with that cap on there, keeps that product in there retained so that you can get in there and clean it and service it as needed. All of this is available to be again in a bulk side or a standalone system and operated with either KSI basic treat or KSI auto treat automation. The one standard piece is the, the pump stands, so no matter if you're running a basic treat or an auto treat system, the KSI pump stands can be customized and built to however your product is packaged, your application rates, if you're going to build a slurry or a direct inject. So this particular setup has a KSI scale to go off of loss and weight with a, a slurry tank of some sort with a, a research pump and a transfer pump to pump that product into your slurry tank. So these can also be customized. You can have anywhere from, from one pump stand up to uh, 10, 15, however really you, you want to, to operate, depending on how, how you want to uh, build your system. And you can always add more around uh, uh, as you grow and, and change your business model. Hello folks, my name is Steve Huber. I'm with KSI and I'm here today to introduce you to new applicator series version, our SCO3 applicator. Okay, we're gonna start with the same exact atomizing chamber as our 4808 drum treater. Same initial application efficiency we're getting out of here. On the inlet, we've got a box option we're showing here for a seed box, but we also offer a hopper option if uh, you're coming straight out of a bin or a truck or something like that and you wanna have a hopper option up on there. We got load cells on here, creating a loss and weight situation uh, with seed flow coming down here, marrying it to the liquid flow. Liquid flow, you can uh, identically uh, have uh, liquid stands that with any option of the 4808, if you build them, it's the same liquid stands on the SCO3 as the 4808. 
Coming up the conveyor here, we've got uh, chambers of a patented static mixing conveyor. Chamber in there that mixes the C while the C is going up. And then we get to the end of the conveyor and we got what we call a seed conditioning box that also mixes the seed as the last discharge place. The system also comes with uh, basic treat automation or auto treat automation. It also is perfect for your soybeans, cereals, pulses. Uh, those type of variety of crops will be perfect for this unit um, as we mix it. And the capacities are anywhere from about 500 pounds a minute on the low side to about 2,000 pounds a minute on the high side. So this is the most versatile uh, applicator system that KSI offers today. So if you want it in a standalone system like you see here today, we can do that on a box-to-box -to -box type system. Or if you want to put it in a bulk system, it would fit perfectly in a bulk system. Um, or we do offer portable versions as well. Standing in front of our portable version of our SC03 applicator series, as you can see up top here, we got a hopper up there for your seed flow. You got a ladder and platform around it for safety. Come down through the atomizing chamber and through the static mixing conveyor uh, and end up at the seed conditioning box up there. This is also equipped with a diesel generator for their energy power supply. Uh, so you can take this straight to the field or in your yard without being plugged in. But we do offer a plugged in version. So we've been taking this unit around North America, using it with uh, cereal market on rates of, you know, low rates of 300 to 500 pounds a minute, uh, all the way up to about 2,000 pounds a minute, getting very good success with it. Hello folks, Steve Huber with KSI here. I'm going to talk to you today about the SCO2 applicator. Uh, again, we start with the same uh, atomizing chamber as our 4808 uh, version. Initial application efficiencies uh, that we gain on that. We also marry it with the same identical pump stand configuration that you need specifically for your, for your business operation. We go from there. The inlet options are box option like you're seeing up here or it could go with a hopper option um, if you wanted to do that come out of the atomizing chamber we do have a seat conditioning box before it hits our patented static mixing conveyor so we have uh, mixing all the way up the conveyor if you are looking for a an economical version of the SC applicator this would be your ticket for like low volume soybeans and over treating corn. Uh, this is a perfect unit for that. If there's any more questions, feel free to call KSI or go on to ksiedge.com. <laughs>